Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Tall Vocoder. This is a free plugin. It's obviously a vocoder and it's very good, but it's very confusing to set up and the user manual is, well, shit. So I'll show you how to use it. So first I'm gonna show you the effect that we're gonna create. <laughs> So the vocoder effect is very clear. I wanted to make it very obvious. This is what it sounds like by itself. So there are two ways to set this up. The first one is by using the vocoder as the synthesizer. And the second one is by using another synthesizer. And yes, you can use any synth plugin that you want. So I'm starting with two vocal tracks. The first one. Si me dejara el universo, quisiera la oportunidad de verte. And the second one is the one that I'm going to be applying the vocoder to. Si me dejara el universo. Uh, you can hear a little bit of reverb and delay. I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to open the effects. I'm already using Waves Tune just to correct the pitch. And we're going to add Tall Vocoder. So if you just add the plugin, it's not going to do anything at all. You need to have another track with the MIDI information. It doesn't need to have a plugin or anything. It just needs to have the MIDI that is going to be playing in the synthesizer. In this case, I'm using the same melody that is being sung by the vocal. So after that, you're going to send the MIDI information to the track of the vocal with the vocoder. The way you do it in Reaper is very simple. You just click on route and then drag and then release over the track that you want to send information to. But the same idea applies to any thought that you're using. You just need to send from the MIDI to the vocal. We can close this. And now let's have a listen. So what's happening right now? The vocoder is acting as a synthesizer and it's playing the MIDI information that we're sending to it from the other track. And it's using the audio of the vocal as the modulator. It's modulating that MIDI with the changes in volume and the vocal. So here we can change the EQ. I usually use the chorus function. As you might be able to tell, it turns the signal into stereo, which is very pleasant to hear. Here in the carrier, you can add sub or noise, like with any synthesizer. And with the range knob, you can add more octaves. So already you could use those two sounds if you're trying to create an effect similar to what I was going for. And it's already going to sound pretty cool. Si me dejara el universo, quisiera la oportunidad de verte una vez más. Pongo a tus pies lo... Now I'm going to show you how to use any synthesizer that you want. In this case, we're going to use another track. 
And this is where I have my synthesizer. In this case, I'm using Vital. The function to have any other synthesizer that we want is very useful because that gives us a lot more control over what the actual synth sounds like. We don't need this track anymore and I'm going to drag the MIDI to the synthesizer track. Right now, this is what it sounds like. So obviously you can edit that sound inside the synthesizer. I can turn up the oscillator. I can change to a sine wave. I can pretty much do anything I want inside this synth. And like I said, you can use any synth you want. Right now, I wanna go for a saw wave kind of sound. So now we have the vocal that is going to be in the vocoder. We have our synthesizer and we have a third track that is going to have the vocoder in it. So I'm going to look for the vocoder. And that means that the track with the vocal in it is not going to need the vocoder anymore. I'm also going to get rid of the sand of the MIDI that we were using earlier. And here is where the confusion usually happens. So I go very slowly. You need to be able to hear all three tracks. Here is the vocal, here is the synth, and here is the vocoder. And we're going to send the voice to the vocoder as well as the synth. Now, I'm going to go inside the sense, in this case, receives. Here it is. And the voice is going to be panned to the right. And the MIDI, or the synth, well, actually both, the synth track with the MIDI is going to be panned to the left. Now we're going to open the vocoder and we're going to change it to input mode. So let's listen to that. Okay, we have some problems. First, we want to be able to hear the vocoder instead of the voice and the MIDI separately. But if we turn them down, that means that the vocoder is not getting any signal. So it's gonna be silent. So how do we do that? It's gonna be different depending on which DAW you're using. In this case, in Reaper, the easiest way to do it is to modify the sense. In this case, I'm going to open the voice and I'm going to change the type of send to pre-fader. That means that it's going to send the signal of the voice to the vocoder before it touches this knob. That means that I can turn it all the way down to zero and the voice is still going to be reaching the vocoder. I'm going to do the same thing to the synthesizer. It's going to be pre-fader and I'm going to be able to turn it all the way down. And that way, I'm muting these two without actually muting them. Because if I do mute them, I'm not going to be able to hear anything coming out of the vocoder. And there it is. So now we have way more control over the sound of the synthesizer. And for this example, I'm actually going to be using a different MIDI signal. I think it's a little bit more interesting when you don't hear the actual same melody of the main voice. So what I have here is just the chords. It's the exact same harmony as the rest of the instruments. So it sounds like this. And together with the vocal, it sounds like this. Oh, let's also add 
the reverb that we were using, the saturation, and I'm also using a little bit of delay. Si me dejara el universo, quisiera la oportunidad de verte una vez más. Pongo a tus pies lo más sincero, y en tus manos dejo todo lo que pasará. And that's it. That's how you use Talbo Coder. If you like this video, please check out my Patreon, where you'll find more exclusive content available only for my patrons. The links are down in the description. Don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to my patrons, which right now is only Marta, so gracias, Marta.